Hello students, in this video, we'll see the next example of forces in space. In this example, you can see that I have a structure over here. This structure, I can name it as OB structure, which is kind of a bolt over here. You can read the question that a wire is connected by a bolt at A as shown in the figure. If tension in the wire is 5 kilonewtons, that is this wire, the wire AB is given as 5 kilonewtons. I need to determine the component of the force acting at A and the angles theta x, theta y and theta z. That is again the angle over here. The angle with respect to the x axis, y axis and the z axis. So what I need to do is I need to first draw the free body diagram of this. So when I go to draw the free body diagram, I need to break this wire from here so that I can see the tension acting in this wire away from A. So I can say that tension is acting from A to B. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to find out the coordinates of points A and B. Over here you can see that along x axis the distance given to me is 40 meters. So x coordinate happens to be 40. I need to find out the y coordinate. You can see that y axis is over here. So this happens to be my positive side. And since this is going on the negative side, distance given to me is 30 meters. So this becomes minus 30. And since this point is lying on the x, y plane, I don't have the z coordinate in this case. So z coordinate happens to be zero. So I can write the coordinates of point A as 40 minus 30 and 0. Similarly, I need to find out the coordinates of point B. Now I can see that point B is lying on the Z axis. So all I need to get is the height of this pole over here. This pole height is given to me as 80 meters. So I won't be having the X coordinate and the Y coordinate in this case. So I can write the coordinates over here. It is 0, 0, 80. So my B coordinates are Now, we have seen that if the force magnitude is known and the point through which it is passing is known, we can find out the force vector. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find out the unit vector acting along AB. So that we know how to calculate. I'll just write it down. Unit vector AB. So since it is force is going from A to B will subtract the coordinates or as B minus A. So that will be X coordinate of B minus X coordinate of A. So that happens to be 0 minus 40 I. Y coordinate of B is 0 and y coordinate of a is minus 30 so that happens to be minus of minus 30 j plus z coordinate of b minus z coordinate of a so that is 80 minus 0 k so this is nothing but 40 square plus 30 square plus 80 square. I have got the unit vector along AB. Now what I need to do is I need to take 
the dot product of this unit vector and the force magnitude to find out the force vector. So the force vector is magnitude dot product unit vector. So the magnitude is given to me as 5 kilonewtons. I can find out the x, y and z component of the force by just multiplying the values that are given to me. So this is my force vector. The question was find the component of the forces acting at a component means I need to find out the component along all the coordinate axis that is x, y and z. So fx, fy and fz is required and that is nothing but the values over here. This is f vector is fxi plus fyj plus fz kk. So fx is minus 2.12 kilonewtons fy is 1.59 kilonewtons and fz is 4.24 kilonewtons so the first part of the question which was required is done and what i need to do is i need to find out the angle that these components are making i mean uh, the force that is the magnitude uh, the force vector is making with the x y and z axis so for that we already seen that fx is nothing but f cos theta x fy is f cos theta y and fz is f cos theta z. I need to find out theta x so that will be cos inverse of fx by f. I'll get the value of theta x. Since the fx value is negative I'll be getting the angle as greater than 90 degrees and that happens to be 115 degrees theta y will be again cos inverse fy by f I'll get theta y value as similarly I can calculate theta z 32 degrees so the second part of the question saying that I need to find out the angles with respect to the x, y and z axis is done. So this is how we calculate the force vector, I mean the force components, the force component acting at A and the angle that it is making with the respective axis. I hope you have understood this example. Thank you.